rituals are almost a bad word in today's context um there is something something esoteric about it or something strange about it something culty about it there are lots of labels that can get attached to something like rituals but in the context of the epics some um, rituals prove to be something that open up different ways of engaging with the divine different ways of engaging with fellow beings not just humans but other uh, creatures and also a way to look within and to connect to an intangible part of the self so there are certain rituals explored in the context of epics in the context particularly of ramayana and mahabharata certain rituals that are performed um, by several characters that not only are relevant today but are also a place to pause and wonder why a ritual who in who came up with the ritual do i how do i engage with rituals do i need to perform every ritual do i not can i choose in a in a post modern world that we are the context of rituals can be something that has a lot for us to think so this is going to be a session that um, kind of also looks at differences between ritual superstitions rituals about post life how does that vary from in, across different communities um, so much to explore in this particular session on rituals so i'm looking forward to uh, having this conversation with all of you tomorrow evening at 8 pm on zoom the link to register if you are watching this on instagram is on my bio or on the alap page bio um, but this is going to be a session that hopefully will provide all of us a little bit of insight on how we can engage um, with rituals without a tag of being ritualistic or non ritualistic or anything else how can we see rituals for what they are as seen in the epics so looking forward to this session tomorrow